So earlier we used the term VIM, or the, um, the Virtual Infrastructure Manager. Um, this is a term that we find inside the, uh, the Etsy utilization uh, of, of the description of this cloud type of an environment. And we mentioned that uh, the, the OpenStack provides uh, you know, one of those VIM capabilities that's in there. If we, if we using our terminology, double click on that a little bit and take a look at, uh, at the larger elements um, inside a, uh, a well-defined cloud uh, environment, you'll see that, uh, that the, uh, the VIM, the OpenStack instantiation in our previous example, is this sort of bluish shaded section in the lower right hand corner where we find those elements, uh, for example, of Neutron and Nova and Glance and Keystone, a variety of those, those projects were in that OpenStack environment. Um, and, and that's, uh, that's a, a very critical element here, but it's not the entire cloud environment. It's a, it's a portion of it that allows for, for that management, you know, the M portion of that management. So over in that orchestration layer, so this is the column that exists in that right hand side, uh, we're going to have VNF managers themselves. So, so the application that we're running has to interface with a module that's higher than that OpenStack type of environment over in the orchestration layer, and that's where we're going to find those elements inside that inside that uh, VNF management layer, uh, according to the, the Etsy model. And this is this is a well thought out, well defined model. So we may stretch the metal a little bit differently around some of this, but the applications themselves, once they're instantiated, are still going to have to be managed at that higher level, and that exists over there in that uh, in that in that manual or that management orchestration layer inside that inside that vertical stack on the right that would sit on top, for example, of that. That OpenStack environment, and then if we look at the actual compute platform itself and those resources that are running, that's sitting on the larger um, uh, block diagram uh, to the left of that. And, and again, building it from the bottom, we've got the network interface cards, uh, the compute and storage that are in there, then those hardware resources uh, that are being utilized, and then some type of virtualization layer on top of that, whether it's Type One or Type Two. You know, again, if you want to think about uh, KVM as a great model uh, for that type of an environment, it's going to be sitting on top of a host operating system, but still has access to those resources and it's an element inside that kernel module um, that provides that virtualization layer. And, and it's that, con that, that encapsulation then that it's managed by the VIM. But then in order for this to be useful, we've got to have you know, what I call an interesting application or interesting collection of applications running on top of that. Um, and, and those would be things like uh, uh, you know, inside the comm space, uh, virtual gateways or uh, um, uh, MMEs inside the mobility management element uh, environment or deep packet inspections or uh, border gateway types of functions. Uh, functionalities, and those applications themselves uh, can be uh, single applications uh, of a collection of processes or multiple processes uh, that are running and, and would have an element management uh, type of an aspect in there that's providing for the, um, uh, the consolidation of the information about the functionality of that uh, application itself on top of that virtualization layer back across uh, to, that, uh, to that VNF uh, manager model that we've got in there. And then as we move even higher to the stack and then off to the right, uh, I'm sorry, off to the left again, um, inside a comms environment, you're going to find the, the elements that we typically talk about as being the OSSs and BSSs. So these are the back office uh, billing systems and these are the operational systems that exist inside that, uh, that, that environment. So this is what would be encapsulated then uh, in the entirety inside that, um, inside that, uh, that module of an Etsy mapping. Um, um, if we're using OpenStack. There are, there are other models um, that can exist um, that may be simpler than this. Um, for example, an, a distributed data center may have a, have a simpler orchestration model um, that allows for microservices inside that data center uh, to be centralized um, inside that OpenStack type of an environment. And you may see uh, simpler architectures in some of the cloud environments.